Welcome to Conversations with Claire. I'm so honored to be hosting this Q&A series with some of today's most inspirational leaders that have left an indelible impression on Emory and in many instances, the world. Today, I'm honored to be joined by Ambassador Andrew Young. Ambassador Young, you first met Dr. King in the 1950s, and if you could spend one more day with him today in the present time, what do you think he would be doing together? I think he'd probably be calming me down about being upset about the future. Mm -hmm. He was never really what I'd call an optimist, but he was a man of faith. No, we are not satisfied, and we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. Nothing ever fazed him. To summarize it, I don't care what the future holds. I know who holds the future. In today's world, social media dominates so much in terms of the ways in which people connect, how they communicate with each other. And I wonder if he had any thoughts of doing the civil rights movement social media had been as prominent as they are today, how would it have had changed what happened? The only social media we had was television. And that was one minute three times a day <laughs> on ABC, CBS, NBC. We basically took the time to try to say how is it that our demonstrations are communicating to people so that they understand what we're trying to say. The only thing I worry about with our schools now, and that's every school, uh, including the ones I went to, that they used to didn't speak to each other because of race and class and fraternities and sororities. Now I think everybody's looking into their little doohickeys mm -hmm. too much. Every morning when you go into class, call your teacher by name and say good morning. Yeah. And when I speak on a campus and they start to try to introduce me, I say, wait a minute, no, everybody knows who I am. Who's that sitting next to you? And you know, they don't know. We've got to make families of our, our educational institutions because, well, love is the fertilizer <laughs> of uh, progress. When you became the mayor in 1981 of the city of Atlanta, Atlanta wasn't doing so well. And you, you really were the mayor that allowed for Atlanta to grow and to even be what it is today. I wanted Atlanta to be an international city. And actually, your country, uh, the first big investors that we got here uh, were the Dutch Institutional Holding Company. Mm -hmm. And we didn't go to Washington for money. We went to Wall Street. Uh, we went to Rotterdam because we had decided with our airport, we were a good convention city. And I used to figure that everybody that flew in here first class spent about $2,000 a day. And everybody that flew in coach maybe spent four or $500 a day. Well, that's a pretty good economy. This is a great day. And you are a great people created for just such a day as this. God has blessed you. Pass those blessings throughout his creation. I think institutions like Emory that, that maintain a, a, a good balance between truth and faith and hard work and compassion, um, we'll, we'll make it. Thank you. And Ambassador Young, you've been such a model and a champion for those people that need to be heard, that need to have a voice. You're an example for all of us, myself included. So I want to thank you for being such a shining example of compassion and the servant leadership. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.